All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakapodash. Double honest to the elders of the, and apostles of Great Millstone taught us this truth and salutations to the hopeful elect that's around the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother Iwa Lumia from the GMS Chicago branch here in Chicago. Come back at you with another lesson. And Lord willing, I hope it be out of time. You know, um, I'm going to basically just do this lesson. I'm going to entitle it, you know, we are and they not, uh, they're not. You know, just, you know, referring to what I, the live stream my elders and apostles did, you know, this past Saturday. You know, regarding the whole Kanye West situation, you know, with the ish people, you know, talking about going into the ish people, how they're not the true people of the Lord, but the so-called Negroes are, you know, here in America. You know, we fit all the curses, you know, we're, a, you know, we were prophesied, you know, to go into captivity, something that these ish people that, you know, um, never, you know, experienced. So I'm just jumping straight into it. You know, this is a less inspired, you know, about a, uh, the eldest live stream, you know, here in Chicago. So I'm going to start off with Revelations 2 and 9. This is the book of Revelations 2 and 9. It says, I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Meaning what? We're rich in spirit. You know, we have this truth. We have this knowledge, wisdom, understanding. And also we have the Lord on our side. Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. It says, I know the blasphemy. Blasphemy is like lies. It says, I know the blasphemy of them who say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Right. They out the synagogue of Satan. Talking about these ish people, you know. And like I said, you know, they, they're not the people of the Lord because what? They do not fit the curses of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. You know, only the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans do. You know? You know, that, you know, Israel became a state, you know, in 1945, I believe, you know. Where they, you know, ship those ish people over there in the land of Israel. But let's continue. This is the biggest form of identity theft on the planet, you know, by turning our Lord and Savior into a so-called white man and ultimately what? You know, saying they are the ish people, you know, or saying, you know, basically saying they are the Jews, which they're not, which I just read back in that Revelations. This is the book of Ze uh, Zechariah 9 and 6. It says, and a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, and I will cut off off the pride of the Philistines. Right, a bastard shall dwell, uh, dwell in uh, Ashdod, you know? Talking about those ish people that's over there right now. Because that's exactly what they are. They're ish people. You know, they're pretending to be a Jew, but they're not, you know? And let's actually touch upon that Kanye West tweet, you know, uh, real quick. This nigga Kanye West wicked as hell, but when he basically tweeted... You know what's um what's facts? Let me see. Can I actually bring it up? So, bear with me for a second. Yeah, this is basically what he said. He said, "I'm gonna be I'm a bit sleepy tonight, but when I wake up, I'm going to DevCon three on Jewish people." The funny thing is actually, uh, the funny thing is I, uh, I actually can be anti-Semitic. It says uh because black people are actually Jew. Jews, uh, he said, Jew also, right? It's not Jew also, but we're, we're we are the the real Jews, you know. These people calling themselves Ish people, which they come from the tribe of Amalek, of the nation of Edom, you know. They're they're trying to say that they're what? They're trying to say that they are Jews, but they're not. It says, um, you guys have toyed with me and tried to uh, blackball anyone whoever opposes your agenda, you know, and we know. Based off everything that's going on in the world, you can read Job 9 and 24, that these ish people, they control the whole, they control the whole world, you know? So they can't be the true people of the Lord, because in these last days, the true people of the Lord, you know, will be under curses, you know, we'll be oppressed, you know, we'll be at the bottom, but these ish people is not, you know? So let's, I just wanted to touch, uh, touch up on that tweet real quick, you know, regarding this, you know, uh, situation. Well, let's continue. This is the book of Jeremiah 14 and 2. It says, Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are blacker to the ground. And it says, um, and the cry of Jerusalem is going up. Right, Judah mourneth. What does that mean? 
you know we're you know we're um we're you know we're in a in a in a, a, a satin state over here in America and the gates there of language right our leadership is weak something that you can't say the same thing about those ish people over there in the land of Israel right now you know you can't say that about them because what well, like I said they're the richest people in the world you know they have the most powerful leadership upon the planet earth today you know they control your media they control your government they control all different forms you know uh and aspects of life around the world you know they have great influence around the world you know so this can't be talking about them that's talking about this is talking about the true jews which is our are the so-called negroes here in america it says judah mourners and the gates thereof languish they are black to the ground and the cry of jerusalem is gone up right because what the jews would be different shades of brown you know you can look at the soil you know you can look at the dirt and if you look at the dirt you know uh as far as you you know dig into the dirt you know you will have different shades of uh uh of, of dirt you know same thing with the so-called negroes you know we're different shades of brown the jews you know jew is just short you know for judah you know it's different shades of brown you know but over there in the, uh, in the land of israel what you know they're so-called white people or whatever the case may be you know and this is our prophecy okay let's uh continue And I want to get what the uh, the president of Egypt had to say. Also, this is um, this is a quote. It says they left black the war for Israel. It says when he was asked about peace in the Middle East, the late president of Egypt, Gamal Abdel Nasser, uh, Nasir, stated the Jews will never be able to live here in peace because they left here black, but came back white. You know if you. I believe it's the bill of 1945. I forget the exact name of it, but that's when those ish people, you know, was established in the land of Israel. You know, if you understand prophecy, you know, the true Jews, you know, shouldn't be in that land right now until you how about Shimei Osha, you know, makes, you know, his second return, you know? So what? Those ish people over there in the land of Israel right now are not the people of the Lord. Because like I said in the beginning of the lesson, they don't fit any of the curses. You know, they don't fit, you know, like I said, any of the curses, you know, they're not the bottom of the barrel right now because the prophecies does say what we're going to be cursed in the city. Our eyes shall be evil towards our brother. We should go to the, uh, our enemies for one of all things. And what is these ish? These ish people are not doing that because like I said, what they control the whole world right now, you know, but let's continue. And all of these other nations know that. It's the book of Revelations 3 and 9. It says, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Right. When Yahushai makes his second return, he's going to take these devils out of power, you know. Then the world is going to know who the true people of the Lord are. You know, when these ish people come and worship before our feet, you know. Actually, I want to revisit that scripture. This is the book of Psalms 15 and 16. It says, but the uh, but unto the wicked, Yahweh said, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Right. These ish people in these nations, period, you know, don't have nothing to, uh, shouldn't have nothing to do with the covenant. But what? What happened? You know, these ish people went into the land, pretended to be us, you know. And they don't even keep the laws anyways. You know, they eat pork over there. You know, they have the alphabet, you know, lifestyle over there in the land of Israel. You know, they don't even follow the laws, statutes, and commandments. You know? But I'm going to read this again. This is the book of Psalms 15 and 16. It says, But unto the wicked, Yahweh saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest uh, take my covenant in thy mouth? Right, because what? The covenant was ultimately given to who? You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, these heathens has nothing to do with our covenant, with the law, statutes, and commandments that Yahweh Hashem Yahshua has given us, you know. And now you have these people over there in the land of Israel pretending to be us, you know. 
you know, pretending, you know, as they say, what? I come from the tribe of Levy, you know? These people are the devil, you know? And like I said, you know, those ish people calling themselves, you know, Jews, they're of the tribe of Amalek, you know, the children of Esau. And, you know, when, you know, when we're established back in the kingdom of heaven, the whole world is going to know that for the Edomites, you know? Well, let's continue. This is the book of Luke 21 and 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into, uh, captive into all nations. And that happened, you know? We're over here in America. Our people are scattered everywhere, you know? And shall be led away, uh, uh, led away captive. And right, that's ultimately what happened to our people. You know, we lost our heritage. Uh, heritage. What's that? I believe it's Jeremiah 14 or is Jeremiah 17. Is it Jeremiah 14 or Jeremiah 17? You know how we were going to lose our heritage. It says, um, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Actually, that, crypt, uh, that scripture I just quoted, let me actually just get it real quick. I believe it's Jeremiah 17, if I'm not mistaken. That's another cut to those ish people because what? In these last, you know, over here in America, you know, we forgot who we were. But let's get that. That's actually a perfect scripture. Jeremiah 17 and 4, yep. It's the book of Jeremiah 17 and 4. And it says, And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Right, we, you know, shall discontinue from my heritage. You know, those ish people pretended to be us. You know, you know, what does prophecy say? We shall discontinue from our heritage, meaning what? In these last days, you know, we're not going to know who we are. But, you know, how about Shemal Shai? You know, it's bringing the spirit, you know, putting the spirit back uh, upon our people. But what? And in this time, we're, you know, we're discontinued from our heritage. So those people over there that are calling themselves Jews, you know, are imposters. You know, as in I read back in that revelation, so, you know, the Lord is going to make them come and worship before our feet. To know that what? He loved us. That was actually a perfect scripture. So let me read this again. This is the book of Luke 21 and 24. It says, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. Right? Which happened. And we're still found in the hands of our enemies today. It says, um, bear with me for a second. Led away captives into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trotted down with uh trotted down of the Gentiles, like those ish people that you see right now in the land of Israel. They're Gentiles, they're heathens, until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And right, and their time is just about up. You know, you know, they the Lord is using them, you know, to fulfill prophecy. That's it, that's all. But let's go back to that scripture. I read it, but I want to read it again, and I'm gonna close out. This is the book of Revelation 3 and 9. It says, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, will say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Right. You know those ish people, Amalek, the Lord, you know, is going to take them down and they're going to worship before the true Jews, you know, the true Israelites, you know. So with that being said, I hope this lesson was edifying. So like it. You know, for jumping around, you know, certain points, you know, I just wanted to make this point, you know, just backing off, you know, the eldest live stream. But Lord willing, I hope this lesson was edifying. And until next time, wah, a baba ball.